This is Rebecca from Papa Tree de Schwa, and welcome to File Folder Friday. Um, I have a little prototype here that I've uh, created over the last couple of days. And um, so this is going to be our project for today. So it has a little tie closure and it has two little, uh, it's, uh, I know on some things they're called a gatefold, but I think these are more like saloon doors. <laughs> um, it has this little flap that folds down this way. Now at the front there is a, a pocket here and there is a little par pocket here on the front uh, flap. A little bitty pocket here, pocket here, and a pocket here. And then with this flap that I made the doors from, um, you have a pocket on the back. Now there's a few things that I will be doing differently uh, then I did the this the uh, the corners I will not round uh, near as big um, and I'll be making some changes to this section here because I don't like uh, that it looks out of place uh, to me anyway but uh, basically this is what we're going to be doing um, and so let me get my materials together and I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so the first thing <clears throat> that we're going to do is um, cut this file folder in two. Um, we want to use the side that don't have the little bars on it. And so we just want to straight cut just inside that fold line. We don't want it in our uh, in our uh, cut so I'm just going to cut that and just put this other piece aside um, we'll cut part of it up shortly but uh, right now we don't need it then the next thing I'm going to do if I can get my hands to cooperate with my brain or vice versa uh, we're going to come down and measure and trim this uh, top off at the 8 inch mark. So there's that. I'm going to keep this so I can make some uh, hole reinforcers from it. Okay, then we're going to cut two strips 4 inches wide. So I'm going to put this to the side and get my scoreboard. And um, these have a smooth side and a rough side, and I want the smooth side out because I like the pattern better, or the just has a better feel to it. So. Um, there's. Um, two cards here uh, with the fold. Um, so this is the front one and it's going to be scored at four inches. This is the back one. It's going to be scored at four and a half inches. So decide which one you want for your front. Not that it matters a whole lot. Uh, most of it's going to be covered up with pockets and stuff. So um, whichever you want it to be. So I'm going to score one at four. And then one at four and a half. Okay. Now I'm going to move the scoreboard and move the 
trimmer. Because we don't need either one of them at the moment. Now, on the one that you uh, scored it for, the other one you just laid it aside for the minute. Um, we're going to make uh, we're going to make this little tab. So the way the way I did it on this one, I actually used my envelope maker, but I'm going to attempt to use this. Um, I don't really like this, but I'm going to try to use it. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going to make uh, this tab going up and then this indented tab on the back side. That's the next two steps. So if you want to, if you have an envelope maker and want to do it that way, then uh, just take your measurement, make it as wide or as narrow as you want, and then match it to the to the back. So that's the next step, or two steps, I guess you could say. So. I think I want this one to be my front. So, so I'm going to make a mark at one inch and then one inch from each edge. And I'm going to, actually I'm going to make my mark just a little bit longer so that I can see it really well when I go to line it up for that. So what I'm going to do is this mark, I'm going to line right up in the center of uh, this little groove here. Now I've got a little gnat or something flying around here, so if you see me smacking at something in a minute, you'll know that's what it is. Okay, so I'm going to punch that there. And punch that there. And then come in and cut that down. Just run, line up that ruler right at that edge and just cut away that little part and that little part. That one I need to come down just a little tiny bit more. I mean tiny tiny bit more. Yeah, much better. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm just going to erase my little marks there. Okay, now I'm going to turn around on this end. Make the same one inch marks again. Here. Do exactly the same thing again. Just line up that mark with the center and line that one up with the center. Except this time we're going to cut away the middle and leave the edges. Now on this one I rounded these uh, corners but I'm not going to on this one because I, I rounded them with a number 10 and, and to me that was way too much. Uh, it was So when I do round it's going to be with the 4. Um, but, uh, but I'm not going to round these just yet. So we're going to line this up. My light's sort of working against me. I have a little bit of a, a glare or something, not sure. Not bad, not bad. As 
long as everything lines up when I fold it will be alright. Okay, that looks alright. I probably should have come in just a little bit more. But uh, I'm not going to toss it out. I'm going to keep going. Alright, now for the for the four and a half uh, section, four and a half, where you scored it at a four and a half inches, we're going to round the corners on the front piece, which is the shorter one. So let me get my little corner rounder because I got corner rounders, but it's not the right one. Yep. So we're gonna, well, we're gonna not put it in right, evidently. Let's do that it one more time. That's a little better. Anyway, I'm using a number four because I think the smaller corners just lend itself better to this project than the, than the other ones. So I'm gonna round that one. And that one and these two okay so um, so that's all to do with um, all I'm doing with that piece and then on the back um, I just came in and and did uh, this but I'm not really sure that's what I want to do. I wonder if part of this is just a decorative thing, but you also want it to look right. And when all of these cutouts, this one don't have one, so I'm thinking I might put one in the middle. Maybe. Or do another. Could do another one like that. And then do that one like that. Hmm. <laughs> I think I will do this one like this. So that's fine. So um, if you want to leave it, then that's fine. We'll uh, we will carry on. But uh, I didn't like that when I did it, and I don't see that the corner, the small corners on this are improving it a whole lot. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, where's my little doohickey? So, line it up there. And here. Okay. And... Just erasing my marks. If I don't do it as I go, I'll forget. Okay, and then well, I'm having a hard time seeing for some reason. Tonight. I don't know what it is exactly. Okay. I cut too low on that one. But we'll pretend that that's not there. Okay. So now let's round those two little corners. Now on this one. I think I am going to do it in the same way as the other one. So on this, just line up the edge with the center, just like if it was a mark, but just right in the center. And that gives you that edge. And then just turn it over and do the same one again. And there we go. 
think I like that better. Now, yeah, I do like that better. Now, what I did with uh, with these is uh, you can't see it now because I put a, this pocket on the back, but I came up. I think it was an inch and a half, which is roughly about there, and that's where I glued this piece to this piece at roughly an inch and a half up. So what I did is um, measured my inch and a half. Now let me get up like this. And I just made myself a little mark here. And a little mark there. And then laid me down some glue. And come across the bottom. Make sure I'm doing this right now. Oh my goodness, did you see what I just did? Oh my goodness. <laughs> did anybody else catch that before I did? Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. It's got to be above the line, not below the line. Well, later the pocket will cover it up, but right now I don't need to have glue on that. Yeah, my, my brain's taking a leave of absence for some reason. Okay, so right up to there. And right up to there. I don't even know if I really want to put some across that bottom. I don't think I will because that way I, it'll have it can go all the way down. Okay, pretend you didn't see any of that. And we're going to line. Now, what I have here is the front. have to now double check myself. So, I'm just going to line up this with those pencil marks. And that's as crooked as a dog's hind leg. Need to make sure that it's straight before I Okay, I just missed it somehow. I'm not sure how I did that, but that's about as good as it's gonna get right there. Okay. Am I totally crooked? Not really. This one is just slightly off, but not that bad. Okay, now. I don't know whether I should ink this or not. But if I'm going to, now is the time to do any inking. Because I've already um, done my pocket. My mind must be somewhere else because it's not on this for whatever reason. Well, you know what? I'm not going to ink. I might ink around the whole thing when I'm done or ink around these two. Maybe I just do that. I'm just going to ink around and I've not inked anything in several days of so this. Oh no, it's not dry. Okay. No, it's not dry at all. Well, I guess I'm inking at least a little bit. Okay, so 
we're going to do that part and then I am going to do this part now I know I can come back in and ink that um, because where there's a wheel there's a way um, but I don't know that I'm going to do that right now I'm going to wait just a little bit and see where I go with this but that right there already looks a little better so I guess I'm inking so let me well my battery just went out so uh, hopefully you didn't miss anything um, I probably should have just went ahead and inked this <laughs> But uh, I didn't, so but I am only going to ink the parts that I need to at this moment. And then I'll finish inking all the rest of it, like off camera or something. Okay, so right here on this little part, we're going to come right up through here and glue. And I think I double checked that this is where it's supposed to go. My goodness, I can't believe that still. And uh, so just put that down like that. Just press the whole thing down. Okay. So. Well. Okay, I had to iron it to get it to stick because it's just uh, being a pain in the rear end. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is cut a strip that is, I'm going to cut mine 8 inches, I think. Because this is 7 inches. But I did like the idea of, of leaving this open so that you can put something here to be seen. So, okay, I guess I'm going to leave it at 7 inches. So, cut a piece of file folder that is um, 7 inches long and 4 and 1 quarter inches tall. And... don't have any cut already that I got one cut already where I was already trying to practice a little bit at four but not four and a quarter so now I don't like these little lines so I'm going to cut these off I'm trying to turn this where I can actually see it okay so I'm going to cut those little lines off then I'm going to cut this off my file folder keeps getting hung up in my little um, flappy thing whatever it is Now, we need it to be four and one quarter. So there's four. So right there is my quarter mark. Ironically, it's almost right on that dark spot. And then cut it at seven inches. This way. Okay. Now, I sure hope I did that right. Alright, scoreboard. 
and our instructions say um, we're going to score at I'm out here where I can actually see them. 1 and 3 eighths so here's 1, 1, 2, 3 so it's going to be the mark after a quarter or after the quarter mark after 1 so 1 and 1 quarter it's going to be the mark after one and a quarter, and then one and a half, so the next line over, and then jump along to five and a half, and then five and five eighths, which will be the next mark. And I've got here then round all the corners, so I'm going to use my little four inch mark, or punch, corner rounder, whatever it is, <laughs> and just uh, round these four corners. Okay, and now it's kind of starting to come together. A little bit. Now I'm doing this in the order that I did it in. So, um, so pick out whichever side you want to be your, like, I've got darker stains here I think. Yeah, I want this to be my bottom. So turn it over and in, just inside, barely inside these um, score lines just run you a little bit of glue, barely, you don't want it so close that when it squishes it falls into the groove, but just right up next to the groove on both sides. And then across the bottom. And then it's probably easier to lay this down and then put this on top of it. So to line up your bottom, and one way to make sure that it's in the right place is fold up your two. I'm going to put mine just a little bit off here. Fold up your two uh, score lines so that those two that you did wrap around, see that, so that it wraps around and make sure it lines up like it's supposed to on the bottom. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to press mine with the iron. Now you don't want glue in here at all because you want to be able to open it up flat so that you can open this, but you want the back to be sealed. And something I forgot to do was put a thumb notch in. Put your thumb notch in before you before your glue sets. And I'm going to yeah, do this at the 4 inch mark too. My glue's not quite set right here, so I'm just going to lift that up enough to uh, get my 1 inch corner around, or 1 inch punch in here and just do a little thumb notch. And while I'm at it, I might as well put some ink on it, haven't I? Some of you will be saying, this is the last time I'm listening to her. She's lost it. Yeah, I kind of feel that way just a little bit. 
But anyhow, I'm going to press this. We'll carry on. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Now, put that there, that there. And while I take a breather and try to get my brain back where it's supposed to be, I'm going to ink these little doors. <laughs> And just ink all around this right here and uh, just get it looking a little better now I'm going to close these and just put a little bit of ink on the side and on the front and the back I said I was going to wait and do this at the end, but this actually helps me concentrate on I actually did this prototype about three days ago and started doing some other uh, projects, catching up on some stuff I needed to finish and all that, and I think uh, I'm having a hard time switching my gears back. It's, is 99% of uh, what this is about right now. Okay, so next, uh, cut a thumb notch in before gluing and ink all the edges before gluing. See, see what I did with. <laughs> Okay, so now we want cut a piece of file folder that is four inches wide and two and a half inches tall. All right, so you need uh, so one four and a half inches. Well, we got the four and a half inches already, so we need it to be two and a half inches. Also, two and a half inches. I put that right there. Then um, glue onto the front flap. So that's going to be here. Now this one, I I was just um, I already had this cut, and I just rounded the edges. But I wanted I needed it to be. No, I did it the same length. My goodness. I guess that'll be all right. But I'm going to round the corners or the two top corners. Put the lid on my glue. I feel really scatterbrained. I know I've already said that two or three times, but it's not going away. It's still in. Uh, I guess everybody's like this every once in a while. I will not blame it on old age because I'm not, uh, might not be far away from it, but I'm not there yet. Not giving old age credit for something because I'm not the age to be old yet. <laughs> Sounds like a river in Egypt, don't it? So, um, so now we're going to hope that the glue didn't dry while I was over here trying to figure out which thing to do next. <laughs> so, and come right along the bottom with a little glue and we're going to put that right there. On that, all right. Make sure everything lines up on this side. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna press it so nothing escapes. 
Okay. And then we're going to cut two pieces four inches wide and one and a half inches tall. So where's the piece I just used for this? Let me cut my this little section off where I put that score line in earlier. And then I want two at one and a half inches, so there's one, and there's two. Just rounding the corners and then I'll give them just a touch of ink. can be decorated any way you want. They can be made from any papers. They don't have to be made from a file folder and they don't have to be made to look vintage. Um, you could, it lends itself to vintage but you don't have to make it vintage. So, um, so don't, th don't think that it has to be uh, a file folder just because that's what I'm making it from. Um, the one thing that I am sort of trying to lean toward with the file folders is trying to make something that has somewhat of an official look to it. I don't know if this is meeting that criteria or not. Um, but I'm not going to decorate this in this video because you can decorate it any way you want and there's lots of pages here. But I will decorate it and then add that at the either at the end of the video um, just do a short little uh, run through or I'll use it as a thumbnail most likely I'll do just a little short video okay now on these two one goes in here so I want this one to go there. Now don't tell me my glue stopped up. Um, I knew I was leaving it open too long. Ah, it wasn't too bad. I was able to pull the plug from the top. So, so, um, glue along that bottom. Now on this one it needs to come above that score line um, just a little bit so that um, when you fold this other flap up it does not hinder the fold up process. So I'm going to do so probably around a eight it's not quite an eighth, I don't think, but uh, but it's definitely enough to give it the room that it needs, and then we can always test it like that. Okay, so that's that one. Now, now this one. Now it's going to defy all odds in some senses, but the one thing about the, the flap going up and then the little doors, like little saloon doors, that's what I, they made me think of. This pocket, when it's folded up like this, it's going to be upside down, but you want it to, when you come down, for it to be right side up. So on this one, 
you want to you can make it as long or as short as you want um, I want it to be down here uh, so that I can put have room to put some stuff in it that does not get caught in the fold when you fold it up so I'm going to come almost to the the bottom I am going I'm coming to basically where my almost where the rounded corner starts getting round if that makes sense so this one's just a touch wider than my paper so I'll probably just tr have to trim it slightly with the scissors but you want it to fold up like that. And then these fold this way. We're almost there. Okay, so now I'm just measuring, and even though I know I want I can do things much better with a ruler than I can with with uh, the, the marks on here. So this is a four and a quarter. So half a four and a quarter is two and one eighth. So I'm just going to make me a light mark there. Turn this around and do the same thing here. Two and one eighth. And then I'm going to get my little hole punch. Now, in this one, in the official one, um, this one I did a uh, little um, uh, hole, what's the reinforcers, that uh, I was playing with my half inch punch and this punch to make some, not these are crooked as can be. But um, I think I want. Um, eyelets in this. So I'm thinking that I'm going to use this little hole and then if I need to make it bigger I can. So I don't want to go in that far. I'm going to go in to right there. over here and hopefully line it up about the same. Yeah, I think I'm going to put eyelets in there. Maybe. But then on the other hand, You know what, I'm not, I'm going to use hole punch because I'm thinking about documents way back in the day and they would have had um, the holes. Okay, so I'm just punching these back out with a hole punch and I'm going to I thought I had over here, but obviously I didn't. Now I'm just going to eyeball this because these can be aggravating because you can't see Um, you can't turn it over and see because the, the the hole is in a it's solid on the bottom. So I'm gonna put some ink around this. I'm almost tempted just to ink the whole thing instead of just the edge. But 
Okay. So, yay, we're we're kind of at the end, aren't we? Now, I think I've just I've been thinking about it in the last couple of minutes. I think what I'm going to do is um no, that's not bad. I'm going to go through my ephemera and I'm going to pick out the things that I want to decorate this with and then just um, do um, do another video and then add that to the end of this one. Um, I just don't have the, the brain power right now. <laughs> I don't think to... Uh, um, to do it uh, because quite literally my my mind is on uh, I guess other things it's only the only excuse I have okay so here we have the original prototype that uh, that I created and um, I think I'm gonna actually add the different prototypes that I've done um, into the uh, drawing giveaway uh, at the end of the month. I'm thinking about doing that. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I might do that. Anyway, enough of that. So here is the decorated finished product. <laughs> um, it took me a, a little bit to get my thoughts together. I didn't decorate everything. I didn't do this part and I didn't do the back. Um, I might come in and do something there, but um, I just wasn't um, wasn't feeling this part, so um, I didn't do anything with it. Um, the tie is a, a piece, or actually several pieces, of um, synthetic uh, raffia. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but uh, but anyway, um, let's see if I can open it without. Uh, I tied it in the middle so it won't come undone. So what I I glue glued a little um, um, piece of like ephemera. It was a 12 by 12 that I cut up all the pieces. So this is a little piece of a of ephemera, and then this is another one that came with it. Um, I printed this uh, lady out. Um, from uh, some photos that I have in my uh, online uh, repository. <laughs> uh, like I said um, a few weeks ago, a few months ago maybe, I have several thousand, tens of thousands of, of um, files that I have downloaded from the public domain and I just go in and find what I want to use and use it. So this is just a, a photo that I printed from a, a file and you'll be seeing this lady again. I've used her on another project that um, will be coming up in the next couple of weeks, uh, probably closer to the end of the month. So, um, so she's in the front and then um, I have a bunch of uh, vintage um, receipts and documents and that sort of thing, so I shrunk down several that I have and uh, inked them up a little bit uh, with my coffee ink. It's actually the same ink that I use this, but as soon as I put it, I just did the edges, and then I put it in um, some water, just a, a not, I didn't dunk it in water, I just had a little water uh, on the on top of uh, a piece of the lid for my my dunking bin and uh, just laid it in the water and the it caused the alcohol and the ink to um, to push and pull around so I was able to get some some um, variations in the color of the ink and it lightened it up too as well so um, just made it look a little bit more Vintagey, and then I also did just a little bit of crinkling, and then just touched the the little pieces. So just a little journaling card there. So here I have just another one of those little. Now it's double sided, so it just has writing on the back already. Um, 
and then I have a couple more of these little um, receipts and just other documents and things like that. This is the Wellington Biscuit Company. And these are um, these are um, uh, files of real businesses, etc. This one was the the Belleville Cider and Vinegar Company from Belleville, Ontario. And then this one um, is Tang Carey, maybe. Um, not 100% sure how to pronounce that. But anyway, Portrait Society, and, and uh, you can uh, send this in and get you a, uh, a frame for your picture, free of charge. So here's just another couple of those little cards uh, from that uh, paper pack. Here's another uh, uh, doctor or no drive. Not sure. That's I'm not sure. I know nowadays that would be doctor, but it could be drive. But I don't know what it would have meant in uh, 1841, maybe. Anyway, it's from London, though. Maybe somebody who uh, is from the UK can explain that to me. Um, because I don't know if it's supposed to be directions or or maybe that's what it means, direct to, don't know. Anyway, that'd be nice to find out what that meant. I mean, I can always Google it, I suppose. And then this is uh, one I'm sure other people have seen this one already. It's in the public domain and there's, you know, several, uh, the French ones are always popular, but um, I included it in this one. This is a piece of ephemera that I've had for a very long time and just it's just a thin piece of I don't honestly I don't remember where I got it. I know that I've had it for as long as we've lived in this house where we are now and we've been here almost six years. Um and that's all I remember. <laughs> um Here's just a little journaling card I made from, um, I think it was a 4 by 6 piece of scrapbook paper, and I just backed it with a file folder. And then um, on the back is a tag that I made from a piece of 6 by 6 um, that I just put in this pocket. So that's how I ended up... Um, decorating this um, little I don't know if I should call it a folio I'll have to look up the definition because it's I guess it could be a document holder so thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in another video very soon Hopefully I can get this put back together the way I had it. <laughs> uh, maybe this way. I know I've already said my goodbyes, but obviously I'm, I'm, I've not left yet because I want to put it back together. <laughs> I want that woman right in the middle. Okay, I'm done now. See you in another video very soon.